Typically, when a space agency launches a probe into interstellar space, they anticipate gaining insight into known phenomena. For instance, the Voyager probes were deployed to capitalize on specific planetary alignments, offering unprecedented views of the outer solar system. However, NASA stumbled upon an unexpected revelation, a harsh environment encircling the outer boundaries of our solar system. Welcome to Space Beat News. Today, we delve into the profound implications of NASA's discovery in NASA Space Probe, discovers a massive barrier at the fringes of our solar system. What are the Voyager probes? The Voyager probes have a straightforward objective, to investigate the outer boundaries of the solar system, potentially extending beyond the influence of our sun. Voyager 2, the second probe launched since 1977, takes center stage in this endeavor. Cruising through space, it sought to gain unparalleled perspectives. In 2018, Voyager 2 reached the heliopause, a region enveloping our solar system entirely. Here, the probe encountered evidence of an interstellar plasma wall resembling a fiery shield forged from solar wind. Despite its formidable appearance, this plasmosphere is relatively sparse, allowing Voyager 2 to penetrate it effortlessly. Upon breaching this barrier, Voyager 2 enters interstellar space, where cosmic radiation levels surge significantly. Without the heliosphere's protection against solar winds, Earth would likely be bombarded by direct solar radiation. What is plasma, anyway? To grasp the concept of a wall of plasma, it's crucial to understand the nature of plasma and its significance in both our solar system and interstellar space. Plasma is formed when a gas loses some of its electrons, becoming the fourth fundamental state of matter. If you were that student who proudly proclaimed the existence of plasma in science class, you'd know that it constitutes a staggering 99.9% .9 of all matter in the universe, primarily residing in outer space. Plasma comes in various forms, ranging from the hot and sparse plasma within the heliosphere under the sun's influence to the cold and dense plasma found in deep interstellar space. This versatile substance serves as a shield against cosmic rays, high-energy particles hurtling through space at near-light speeds. Thankfully, our heliosphere shields us from over 70% of this radiation, as Voyager 1 discovered. Essentially, the plasma wall surrounding our solar system acts as a transitional boundary between the heliospheric plasma and the dominant plasma in interstellar space. How hot is it in terms of temperature? The probe's measurements indicate that the hot plasma wall ranges from 30,000 to 50,000 Kelvin, corresponding to approximately 53,000 to 89,000 degrees Fahrenheit. What are the implications of this discovery? NASA's curiosity is piqued, and there's a hint of concern regarding the impact of this literal firewall on interstellar travel endeavors. Nevertheless, the Voyager probe's ability to traverse it relatively unscathed is a positive indication, especially considering their age of over 40 years. Unfortunately, the effects of this radiation on biological beings remain uncertain. Therefore, sending someone through becomes a gamble with the hope that they return intact. Where's the probe now? While the probe emerged relatively unscathed from the hellscape, NASA acknowledges that it is presently ensnared within the plasma wall, positioned roughly 11 billion miles from Earth. Instead of traversing entirely into interstellar space, NASA confirms that the probe currently resides in the transitional region at the solar system's edge. There remain numerous readings for the probe to transmit back to NASA concerning the wall, unveiling the true nature of the plasma zone. Nevertheless, it's an understatement to deem this discovery anything less than monumental. A human-made apparatus has officially breached the bounds of the sun's influence, 
delineating the solar system's borders and the transitional zone bridging interstellar space. How was this wall first identified? Equipped with five primary scientific instruments, including a magnetic field sensor and detectors for energetic particles and plasma, Voyager 2 has been pivotal in unraveling the mystery. These instruments have generated invaluable data regarding the plasma wall's precise characteristics, detailed in numerous research papers. It was a notable change detected by the energetic particle detectors upon Voyager 2's departure from the heliosphere in 2018 that alerted scientists to the presence of an anomalous object. This change entailed a drastic reduction in the rate of heliospheric particles alongside a significant increase in cosmic ray activity, leading NASA researchers to deduce the probe's entry into a new spatial realm. What part did Voyager 1 have to play in this? It's worth noting that Voyager 2 wasn't the pioneer in approaching the heliosphere's edges. Its predecessor, Voyager 1, achieved this milestone in 2012, offering scientists precise measurements of the sun's influence in space. Intriguingly, the heliosphere's radius is dynamic, akin to the expansion and contraction of a lung. Dependent on the sun's activity, the heliosphere fluctuates in size over an approximate 11-year solar cycle. Voyager 2's subsequent encounter with the heliosphere's edge at a different time and distance from the Sun corroborated this variability, highlighting the fluidity of its boundaries. As Ed Stone, Voyager's project scientist and a Caltech physics professor, aptly notes, the Voyager probes unveil the intricate interaction between our Sun and the vast expanse filling the space between stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Without Voyager 2's data, it would remain unclear whether Voyager 1's observations were indicative of the entire heliosphere or specific to its crossing point. The Imperfect Barrier If we liken the plasma transition zone to a wall, it seems to exhibit vulnerabilities. Voyager 2's particle instruments have detected particles within the heliosphere leaking into interstellar space. Given the heliosphere's dynamic nature, varying points along its circumference may experience differing levels of leakage. For instance, Voyager 1, positioned akin to a ship's bow, may encounter less porosity compared to Voyager 2, located at the stern. The Enigma, Beyond the Heliosphere a noteworthy revelation is the parallelism between the magnetic fields beyond the heliopause and those within the heliosphere. While Voyager 1 initially sampled these magnetic fields, Voyager 2's consistent measurements affirm this alignment. The space beyond the heliosphere remains ripe for exploration, with scientists worldwide eager to uncover its mysteries. Beyond its role as a radiation shield, what other functions might the heliosphere serve? Share your theories in the comments below.